Tusi was born Sitembi Lekola Pearl Tusi on May 13, 1988 in the township of Kwandengezi in Durban, located in the KwaZulu Natal province of South Africa. She spent her early years in the Mpumalanga province and then returned to her hometown, where she spent her formative years. Her father's name is Becky Zizwe Tusi, and her mother, Samkeli Siwe Tusi, who was a nurse, was heavily invested in ensuring that Pearl and her siblings had the best education possible. Pearl was raised along with her two younger siblings, Prunella and Pamela Trusi. Pearl claims she had a very happy childhood, despite the children teasing her about the color of her skin, because she is much lighter than the rest of her family. Her father was dark in complexion and her mother had a fair complexion. On her father's side of the family, Pearl had a recessive gene that dates back five generations. Her family was mixed race five generations ago. Therefore, that's where it came from. It's usual for years to go by without someone from her family being born light in complexion until a few generations later when there's a gene recession. Pearl's relationship with her father, however, was a bit complicated when she was growing up due to the fact that he allegedly abused her mother. According to her, she had begged her mother to leave. Pearl describes her father as the first man to break her heart, having abused her mother. As a young girl, Pearl had a passion for modeling. A scout at her grade 8 beauty pageant contest discovered her hidden talent. She contested in several beauty pageants in her hometown of Kwandengezi in KwaZulu Natal, and in doing that, she learned the basics of modeling. The more she took part in these competitions, the more she grew confident and fond of the cameras. In high school, she continued pursuing the only door she could access to enter the modeling industry. In 2003, she contested for the crown of Miss Teen South Africa and ended up being the first runner-up. She was also the youngest contestant. Sadly, Pearl's mother would pass on in 2004 when she was barely a teenager and just at the start of her modeling career. After the death of her mother, she immediately took the role of a mother to her younger sisters, Prunella and Pamela. Luckily for the family, she had begun to make money from her modeling gigs. Through her jobs as a model and in commercials, she was able to financially support her family. Her dad also worked hard to make ends meet. Her mother's best friend and grandmother also had to pitch in when things became tough for the family. Pearl attended a number of schools. One of those schools was Pinetown Girls High School. She later transferred and completed high school in Hammersdale near Durban. After completing her high school education, she relocated to Johannesburg to pursue her studies at Vets University and continued to work on her modeling and acting career while studying. Pearl Tusi came on the TV scene at the age of 18 as a co-presenter of iCrew, a kids show on SABC3. Welcome to the very first broadcast of South Africa's hottest and newest television sensation, iCrew. My name is Pearl and it is my privilege to introduce you to a show where you, yes, you they can... She worked as a translator, translating English and Zulu then moved to be a producer on the show. This happened about the same time she graduated from high school. Pearl would then meet Walter Mugwena as a high school student. 
At the time, Walter was already a sports journalist. He had gotten her phone number from his ex-girlfriend, who was also a model. Pearl and Walter became fast friends, and in time, they began dating. Pearl later found out she was pregnant during the first week as a drama student at Vets University. Finding out she was pregnant was a hard pill to swallow. This came about a year after they began dating, but at the time, their relationship was off. This made her apprehensive about informing Walter, but eventually they got back together. Besides her father's disappointment, her whole family accepted her pregnancy. She dropped out of university a few months later due to the challenges of being a pregnant student. And in 2007, Pearl gave birth to her first daughter, Tandoluetu Mukwena. Her rocky relationship with Walter moved to a loving co-parenting relationship. Her acting debut came in 2009, when she landed the role of Patricia Kupong in an episode of the BBC and HBO produced comedy drama series. The number one ladies detective agency. You will not laugh. Yum. I would like to go to the Botswana Secretarial College. This gave room to even more television appearances. Later, she gained more presence on television for playing the role of Samkeli Siwen Gambule on the SABC drama series Zone 14. More opportunities came. Following her impressive performance on screen, she landed acting roles on several other series including Soul City and Rhythm City. In 2012, she hosted The Real Goboza, which led to a role in Isidingo as Pale Samotawu. This role turned her into a household name in South Africa and the bulk of Africa as a whole. Pearl soon after gained her first lead role in a feature film titled Kalushi, the story of Solomon Mahlangu. She then landed two international movie roles within six months after that on Tremors 5 Bloodlines and Rosa. In 2015, due to her status as a household name, MT released a song titled Pearl Tusi. The song was a tribute to Pearl in all her African glory. The song, much like its namesake, became an instant hit and a staple for any playlist worth listening to at the time. Pearl Tusi also bagged one of her biggest TV roles in 2016 when she was cast in the American TV series Quantico. Pearl played Diana Mampasi, a Harvard Law School graduate from Zimbabwe in season 2. This put her name in the radar of Hollywood directors and other bigwigs. In the same year, she was cast as Samkelo and had everyone catching feelings in the appropriately named romantic drama. She has hosted shows such as Lip Sync Battle Africa on MTV, BET Africa's Behind the Story, SABC One's Live Amp, and Comedy Central Roast of AKA. Pearl made history in 2018 when Netflix announced she would star in Queen Sono, the streaming company's first ever African original series. In 2015, Pearl Tusi launched her hair care range, Black Pearl Hair Care Line. Pearl is recognized for her signature afro, so it was only natural for her to launch her own hair care line. The line was created in collaboration with Afro Botanics. In 2018, Pearl adopted a baby girl named Okuhle. She decided to keep the circumstances surrounding the adoption away from the public. 
saying it will be the girl's story to share if she chooses to when she comes of age. Tragedy would strike when Pearl Tusi's father sadly passed on in 2020. Becky Zizu's death hit Pearl badly and made her take time out from social media. I, I can't say I'm coping. Mm. I'm not. So, my dad's passing has really fucked me up. Finish. <laughs> Pearl Tusi is a beauty with brains. Most people know her through the shows that she hosts and the movies that she has featured in. But what they forget is that she has not had it smooth to get to where she is in her career. She is an accomplished lady who tapped on every opportunity that came her way. She positioned herself well in the entertainment industry and made right out of every opportunity that came her way. That explains the reason why she has multiple careers. At the age of 30, she has made tremendous achievements.